Hello everyone, here we are again for another session of Seller's Choice Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to update or edit an existing listing in bulk on Amazon Seller Central. Professional sellers can create and update listings in bulk for the same items being sold through Amazon. This can alleviate hours of tedious work and can also lead to more productive sales outcomes since more products will be placed into the marketplace faster. Updating a listing one by one is something that you need to avoid, especially if you have thousands of active listings. It is a good thing that Amazon allows you to update or edit your active listings in bulk. Though it may be a little complicated for others, we have simplified the process and that's what this tutorial is all about. So let's get started. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The first thing that you need to do is to log into your Seller Central account. That's sellercentral.amazon.com. What we need to do first is to download the inventory file template and the inventory reports. Once you're in, Hover your mouse to the Inventory tab, then select Add Products via Upload on the drop-down. We will download the inventory file template first. You can either search for the type of product or use the Product Classifier tool. Once you have found your product, just click the Select button and it should appear on the summary. Select the type of template. For this example, since this is just going to be a simple inventory and price update, then I'm going to select Light. Everything has the same process. Click the Generate Template button to download the template. After you've downloaded the inventory file template, let us download the inventory reports. Hover your mouse to the Inventory tab one more time, then select Inventory Reports on the drop-down. Select Inventory Report on the Report Type and click the Request Report button. Your report request should appear in the table and just click the Download button on the first line. Now that we have downloaded the files that we need, we just need to integrate both. What we need to do first is to transfer the Inventory Report to an Excel sheet. Open the Inventory Report text file and an empty Excel sheet. Press Ctrl A or Command A for Mac on the Inventory Report text file to select all and press Ctrl C or Command C for Mac to copy it. Go to your empty Excel sheet and select cell A1, the first cell. Then press Ctrl V or Command V for Mac to paste everything. Just for this example, let's update four items. If you aren't updating everything, I recommend that you change the cell color just for you to easily recognize the items. So I'll be updating the quantity for each item. After you've updated the quantity, open the inventory file template. You can just copy and paste the items on your inventory to the designated column in your inventory file template. Please don't forget to select the product type to enable the drop downs and indicate the product ID type as well. You can update any product information that you wanted and you are not just limited to updating the price and the quantity. Once you have placed in all the information that you wish to update, go to the Update Delete column and select Partial Update on the drop-down. Save the template as a text tab delimited file. Now that you have your text tab delimited file, you can now upload this into your inventory on Amazon. Go back to the Amazon website and hover your mouse to the Inventory tab, then select Add Products via Upload on the drop-down. Select the Check and Upload Your Inventory File tab. Check your file first before you upload the inventory file. File type needs to be Inventory Files for Non-Media Categories. Click the Browse button and select the text tab delimited file that you just created. Then, click the Check My File button. 
there should be a green call out saying that the file is being checked. This may take a while if you have a lot of items. The page will just auto refresh and it should give you the results. If there are no errors and warning on the file, then you can already proceed in uploading it on Amazon. Just click the browse button under the upload file section and click the upload button. Once it's uploaded, it should take about 15 minutes or more to update depending on the number of items they are updating. So there you have it. And that, ladies and gents, are the steps on how to update or edit an existing listing in bulk on Amazon Seller Central. Just so you know that we have a lot of tutorials and webinars on bits of advice on how to run and the applicable techniques for your e-commerce business. You can always visit our site at sellerschoice.agency and browse through our huge compilations of webinars, tutorials, and blogs. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned. See you soon!